What's up guys, it's Danta. Now a couple of weeks ago, I made a video on how to solo the glory of the Uldir Raider. Now for one of these achievements, you needed to have the puzzle box of Yogg-Saron, which you can only get through archaeology. Now after spending several hours with archaeology, it got me thinking like, there are so many toys, pets, transmog and mounts that you can get from archaeology, but there are probably only a few people actually doing it. Because let's be real, archaeology is boring as hell. So. I decided to make a simple guide to show you how to obtain almost every pet, toy, transmog and mount from archaeology in an easy way. Which by the way does not require you to fly all over Azeroth. Now even though I am saying in an easy way, it's still time consuming. But hey, what else are you going to do? Run Mythic Plus for the 1 millionth time to get an item that gets replaced the moment the next patch comes out? <laughs> Alright, so first things first, let's talk about archaeology. It's a secondary profession that lets you dig around at dig sites for fragments. These fragments can then be used to create artifacts. Now the best part is that you also find rare toys, pets, transmog and mounts whenever you are creating these artifacts. To learn archaeology you have to visit a trainer in any of the major cities. Once you are trained your map will reveal various dig sites marked by a shovel icon which are all scattered across Azeroth. Now your job is to survey these sites and collect fragments to restore ancient artifacts. Each expansion introduced different types of artifacts. For instance, in vanilla you could find Dwarven, Fossil, Night Elf and Troll artifacts. The Burning Crusade added Draenei and Orc artifacts, Wrath of the Lich King introduced Nerubian and Vrykul artifacts, and Cataclysm brought in Tolvir artifacts, which contains probably most of the items that people want. Now Blizzard kept giving us different kind of artifact types up to BFA. After BFA, archaeology got basically removed. Now I will have a list of every artifact type available in the game, and the rare toys, pets, transmog, and mounts they may contain. So, how does archaeology work? Well, it's pretty simple. At a dig site, you want to use your survey tool to locate artifact fragments. The tool's telescope points in the direction of fragments and its color indicates your proximity to a find. So, red means that you are far away, yellow is closer and green means that you are very close. Now when you are at the right spot, you will see a shovel icon above your head and you want to use your survey tool to dig. When you are done digging, you will gather fragments and occasionally you might also find a keystone. Now once you've collected enough fragments, you can solve an artifact. And sometimes that artifact will be a toy, pet, transmog or even a mount. Now sometimes you might miss a couple of fragments to solve an artifact. And that's where these keystones come in. You can add them when you are solving an artifact. When you add a keystone, they will add a couple of fragments on top of the ones that you already have. Allowing you to solve the artifact without actually having enough fragments. That's in a nutshell how archaeology works, but you are probably wondering now how the hell do you get these rewards in an easy way. Well, I'm not gonna lie, the first part sucks ass. You are going to need a character with at least 600 archaeology or higher, if you want to farm every type of artifact from vanilla to cataclysm in an easy way. Now I will talk about the artifacts from Mist of Anaria, Warriors of Draenor and Legion later in the video. So to quickly level up your archaeology, just start digging around in the BFA zones. This way you can reach 600 in archaeology within a few hours. Plus you will get a couple of toys and some restored artifact boxes, which I will talk about later. Oh and by the way, just a tip for those that have a child that's old enough to play World of Warcraft, you could promise it a happy meal from McDonald's if he or she farms 600 archaeology for you. It would be a win-win situation. You don't get bored to death and your child gets a happy meal. Anyway, when you reach 600 archaeology, you want to make your way to Pandaria. And here in Pandaria, we are going to need a specific item, the Mented Artifact Hunter's Kit, which you can buy from Bran if you are friendly with the Lorewalkers. Now for those that are not friendly yet, you can check out a really short video that I recently made on how to get exalted with them in 30 minutes. Now once you are friendly with the Lorewalkers and have 600 archaeology or higher, go to Bran, which is above the Mogoshan Palace, and buy the Mented Artifact Hunter's Kit for two restored artifacts. Now if you've been leveling your archaeology in BFA, you should have plenty of restored artifacts by now. Oh, and for those that haven't figured it out yet, whenever you solve an artifact, it will go into your bag and basically what you have to do is right click it and whenever you do that, it will become a restored artifact in a crate, which is then used as currency with brand. Now if you already had 600 archaeology, you will want to dig around in Pedaria and restore two artifacts before going to brand. So, 
When you've purchased the Manted Artifact Hunter's Kit, you want to open it up and you will find two items. The Manted Artifact Sonic Locator and the Lorewalker's Map. The first item transforms all dig sites in Pandaria into Manted dig sites for 24 hours, which will allow us to farm Manted Artifacts super fast. Oh, and the best thing is that Dragon Riding works in these older zones right now as well, so we will be able to fly from dig site to dig site very fast as well. Now, the second item, which is the Lorewalker's map, isn't that interesting at all. You just want to use it right after using the Manted Artifact Sonic Locator, so that whenever these dig sites change into Manted dig sites, they don't become buggy. Now, after completing all the necessary preparations, it's time to decide which pet, transmog, toy, or mount you want to go for. Now, like I said earlier, I will have a list of all the rare items in the description below. So, for instance, if your goal is to try to get the Kiraji battle tank, which is highly sought after by many, here's what you need to do. You are going to fly to one of the dig sites in Pandaria, you are going to start digging around, and you are going to do that at every dig site that you can find in the current zone. Once all the dig sites in that zone are completed, move on to the next zone and do the same thing over there. Meanwhile, you want to use the Manted Fragments you collect to restore and create all those artifacts. After clearing dig sites in the second zone, you will notice new dig sites have appeared in the first zone that you started in. Just rinse and repeat this process till you have a lot of restored artifact boxes. Now don't get me wrong, even though this is all very easy, it's still going to make people bored to death. But this is still by a mile the fastest way to farm fragments from all artifact types. Now the normal way would require you to go to Uldum and start farming dig sites over there. However, Uldum doesn't have as many dig sites as Pandaria has, plus these dig sites in Uldum also have a really slow respawn rate, which is by the way the main issue when it comes to farming any of these older artifact types in a normal way. Now once you feel like you farmed enough, you want to return to Bren in the Veil of Eternal Blossoms and exchange your restored artifact boxes for Tolvir fragment boxes. Now each fragment box contains about 5 to 10 fragments. If you are very lucky, you will only have to complete one artifact and immediately obtain the Kiraji battle tank. If you are less lucky, you might have to restore 20 artifacts before you finally see the Kiraji battle tank. So the amount of farming required actually depends on your luck. So guys, that's how you can farm fragments for every artifact type from Vanilla through Cataclysm in an easy way. Now most people only care about the Vanilla through Cataclysm artifact types because those are the only ones that can contain mounts. However, for those that are interested in obtaining everything in the game and are wondering now like, okay, so how are you going to farm all the rare items from Pandaria, Wad and Legion? Well, for those that are looking to exchange restored artifact boxes for Mogu or Pandaren fragments, I'm excluding the Manted because you will be farming those all the time for restored artifact boxes. Then you will need to visit the archaeology trainer in New Dalaran, which is located in the Broken Isles. This trainer offers all Missile Pandaria fragment boxes in exchange for the same restored artifact boxes that you've been farming in Pandaria. But you can only purchase them if you have 700 archaeology. Now the same thing goes for all of the Warlord of Draenor boxes. However, to be able to purchase those Warlord of Draenor fragment boxes, you are going to need 800 archaeology. Now just a reminder, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, um, the most effective way to level up archaeology is basically by digging around in either Kul Terras or Zandalar. Now if you want to get the rare Legion archaeology items, you are going to have to dig around at dig sites in the Legion. However, Legion only has 5 rare archaeology items that you can get. One toy, one pet, one heirloom, one key that will give you a title, the Headmaster, which not many people actually know about. And then there is one mount. So regarding the mount, it's a special moose mount, which is obtainable through a specific archaeology quest. This quest laying to rest requires you to collect 600 bone fragments in High Mountain. And it's only available once every six months. Now for those that are interested in that, I will include the dates and the wow head link in the description below for more detailed information. Alright, so there's just one more thing to talk about, and that's BFA Archaeology. There are a total of four items of interest, two toys and two pets. Now the only way to get them is by flying around in Kulteris or Sandalar and dig around. That's all there is to BFA Archaeology. <laughs> so, guys, this is pretty much how you can farm any rare item available through Archaeology. Now I know that Archaeology is boring as hell, and I also think that most people would rather avoid it, but if you are bored with Dragonflight or just 
want to collect everything in the game. Then I hope that this video helps you out and gives you something new to do. Now, if you like this video and you want to see more content like this, then please consider subscribing. If you have any questions or suggestions, just let me know in the comment section below. And with that being said, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video, which will be another glory of the hero solo guide. <laughs> Bye.